Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Kitchen Metrics Scale Slash Measuring Cup. Hopefully this won't be the train wreck that the last one was. So you ready? Let's get into this. This is the Kitchen Metrics Measuring Cup Scale. You can see by the picture that this is basically a funny shaped scale with a measuring cup built right into it. It's got a maximum weight of 6.6 .6 pounds. It can measure in grams and ounces and also volume in certain cases. It's got a 25 by 17 and a half millimeter LCD screen. So that's pretty tiny and it comes with a battery. Thank God I like this better than the other one already. And it's got indicators for looks like low power or errors. So maybe not the best thing to see on that, but whatever. The care and maintenance information is on the outside of the box. So uh, that's a little weird. There's a picture of the measuring cup in action. There's a picture of the scale in action. Back here, you can see that it's great for recipes. Well, thank God I was getting worried. Now I feel so much better. Here you can measure volume and weight at one time. And this looks familiar. We got that oil, flour, milk, and water setting thing again. That didn't work out too well on the other scale, but we shall see. The measuring cup is detachable and it better be if you're gonna be able to clean this. You got an easy to read yet tiny LCD screen and there's colorful designs. Hey, it's good to know that the various fashionable color designs represent the art of health. Well, okay. Here's the four colors this comes in. We got the green, we got the white or gray or something. We got purple and looks like a burgundy or something like that. There's the check mark right there. So we must be getting this one. Let's open this thing up. Hey, activate your one year free warranty as opposed to a one year paid warranty. Interesting. Hey, look, there's a friendly reminder that when you pour, you better have your thumb on top of the measuring cup or it might fall off. This is just getting better and better. Anyway, the rest of this book just kind of tells you how to use all the buttons and everything else. Standard stuff. Okay, let's take this out of the box. This actually looks sort of nice. Huh, what do you know? Okay, here we have the measuring cup. This actually comes apart. The measuring cup is this top piece here that comes off and then down underneath, this right here is where the actual scale is. On the cup here, you have measurements that go all the way to four cups. So this thing is pretty big and that makes it pretty useful as a measuring cup anyway. The biggest one I have currently is three, so that already makes this pretty useful for me. On the other side, we have measurements in milliliters on this side and fluid ounces on this side. And again, since it's so large, we've got a thousand milliliters over here and a little bit better than 32 ounces on this side. This thing sort of looks like a high heel shoe, doesn't it? On the inside of the handle, you got a battery bay that takes a CR2032 cell. Like I mentioned before, that was really nice that they included the battery. And you got the pull tab here that you yank out to establish the connection. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. As far as buttons go, you have the on off button with the zeroing function. So basically you turn this on and then you just sort of wait for it to zero out. Once that's zeroed out, you can see that the scale starts working for you. Right now, this is measuring in grams. That's written all the way down here in the corner. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. You might not even see it on camera just because of the angle we have my camera set up at. If I change the units, yep, then that's pounds and ounces. And we're back to grams again there. You've got your mode button here. That says we're measuring water. That says we're measuring milk. That says we're measuring oil. And that is the measurement for flour. The flour measures in cups and looks like it only measures in cups. The water measures in milliliters and cups as well. The oil looks like the same deal. And then when we get back to flour, it is obviously just measured in cups once more. If I click the mode button one more time, it'll go back to the regular scale mode and then we're back here. To show you how the zeroing function works, if I put this on the scale right there, you can see that that is eight grams. If I hit the on off button or the zeroing button, it's gonna remeasure it like that. And as you can see, now it's showing a zero, even though I still have this sitting here. And it'll just add weight to it, ignoring what we already have on there. Looks like this thing might be pretty fun to test, actually. 
Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be playing around with this thing just to get a better handle on what it can and can't do. Once we get that figured out, we'll have a full product review. If you'd like a little bit more information about this thing, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. If you like this video, you might like the unboxing video we did for the other scale right there. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.